uh, household debt at an all-time high and rising interest rates on credit cards, the federal NDP is taking on the big banks. It has created a credit card fee reduction kit that it, it says will help Canadians fight back. And with details on that, we are joined by the NDP industry critic Peggy Nash and Karen Rue, who succeeded in getting her interest rate reduced. Good to have you both here. Thank you. It's Good a great idea, I think. And who wants to pay more interest than you need to? Well, Canadians are really strapped, as you said, consumer debt's at an all-time high, but bank profits are also uh, extremely high, and people have very, very little savings. Compared with a generation ago, it's down about 2%, so people are strapped, and credit card interest rates are a big part of the problem. We're going to uh, just put up the NDP website, because there's a link. This is a new link that you have on your website. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. Tell me what happens when I, when I log into it. Well, it, it uh, walks you through a, a survey on, uh, on debt and, uh, and interest rates, and ultimately it leads you to uh, a, um, a scenario that you can phone up your bank and, and, uh, or your, um, whoever your credit card holder is right. and ask them to reduce your credit card interest rate. Most and people don't even know they can do that. It, people have no idea that they yeah. can negotiate the credit card interest rate, but we've seen it, it's becoming a real grassroots movement. People are saying, hey, if I can save some money, why not? Because people increasingly are carrying more and more debt on these credit cards, and it's the worst kind of debt, the highest interest rates. Absolutely. You went through this, right? You I did. You all the instructions on I the website? I actually went to the site. There is a script. <laughs> the phone numbers are there. It was easy, easy, easy. So I picked the credit card I used the most and tend to carry three to $5,000 on average during the year. Gave them a call, followed the script exactly. Uh -huh said, can you help me with this? To the young man who answered the phone, he said yes, and they reduced my rate from 18.4 to 11.4%. That is that substantial. Easy. Yeah, now, that was one credit card. That was one credit card. So I, you went through this with a, a couple of them? Uh, well, one credit card, I already have a very low rate tied to Prime, right. which is something that you can get out there, which is good. And the other one refused to negotiate. Right, and what did you do in that case? Had to, you just got that's to take it. That, yeah. That's it. Were but you surprised I, I, by how easy it was with the first one? I was absolutely surprised, mm -hmm. and knowing that I should have done it a long time ago. Yeah. Why carry those extra charges? <laughs> that's what's frustrating is that this is just easy money for the credit card companies, for the banks, and really what we're saying is that shouldn't be the case. You know, it's great if people can negotiate one on one to reduce their credit card interest rates, but we should have a cap. And we're saying, you know, uh, prime plus 5% is pretty good return for the credit card companies. Other jurisdictions have caps. We think it's long overdue here in Canada. Well, I'm surprised uh, well, how uh, utilitarian the political party is. This is the second story we've done today. With the Conservatives, <laughs> it was how to call into a talk show host to make sure you have all your points in front of you. You guys are going to lower my debt. I've, I've got, I think, all the bases covered. Is there a growing trend, though, I mean, about, about finding, I guess, you know, kind of connecting, you know, the, the, our, our political parties in Ottawa with, I guess, things that can affect people's lives. I mean, you're using your website here for, for something that's very specific. Well, you know, Seamus, these are things that governments ought to be able to do for people. The finance minister ought to be taking this on and negotiating on behalf of people. But where governments aren't stepping up, people have to take these issues on one by one. And so any way we can help them take back control of things like credit, uh, that's pretty important. We could be heading into a downturn. There's a lot of concern. People already have far too much debt, so they're they're looking for help wherever they can get it. it and we're hoping we can do it. it. Saved me a lot of money. Yeah, indeed it did. <laughs> All right. Thank you both very much. Thanks for your Thank interest. You. Appreciate it. Coming up, surviving